uh, insurance of uh, security of uh, my constituent, Mr. Diane. And uh, uh, we would like to know from uh, the GPP himself what uh, measures he would undertake, uh, of course, without telegraphing the operational aspects so that uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, security uh, measures will uh, not be compromised. Mr. Chair, we would like to hear from the GPMP, GPMP himself. Chair uh, De La Rosa. <coughs> Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor, uh, the PNP is always prepared to provide security assistance to Mr. Dayan anytime uh, he wants it. Right now, uh, I have already instructed the provincial director of uh, Pangasinan PPO to send a team to fetch uh, Mr. Dayan here. If, uh, but but uh, I would like to solicit also the side of Mr. Dayan if uh, he's willing to be under our protection del uh, legally wala po kami custody sa kanya since uh, wala kami hawak na warrant of arrest or what ang sa amin lang sir is uh, yung kanyang willful uh, uh, willful uh, request na Mi secure namin siya Mr. Chairman Mr. Chairman in connection with the the statement of uh, General De Rosa perhaps uh, uh, since uh, the, w the resource person will be discharged uh, from this committee, and in a way we would feel responsible because we need, perhaps we can have an open manifestation from the resource person in this committee hearing now. What is his request so that it will be on record? Uh, what would his request be after this hearing, after we adjourn, whether he wants to be under the custody of the uh, uh, Philippine National Police under uh, under General De La Rosa, who is willing uh, to handle the security or uh, with uh, whatever agency. Perhaps we could uh, ask the, the resource person now, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Mm. Okay. Uh, prefatorily, uh, we already voted on a motion. Dis discharging uh, Mr. Dayan uh, from the custody of uh, let's the wait. House. Let's ask him so now what he wants to now, do after this. Uh, with that, uh, the problem is because he wants to go home. Uh, Mr. Dayan, uh, may tanong si Congressman Crisologo. Itatagalog niya po. Kasi kahit pa paano, uh, tayo ang nag-issue ng uh, word of arrest sa kanya, we feel, uh, this committee would feel in a way that uh, we are responsible for his appearance here. And uh, in a way, we should also look after our resource person. So kung ano yung uh, gusto niya, uh, tignan natin, mag-manifest niya dito sa committee at uh, intay natin sagot nung, kung ano yung uh, hihingiin niya. So, pwede bang hihingiin natin, Mr. Dayan, Mr. Uh, so, Ginom Dayan, uh, naintindihan mo yun, di ba? Opo, sir. Anong gusto mo mangyari pagkatapos uh, nito? Gusto ko po sana, sir, umuwi muna sa amin. Na umuwi sa inyo na sa wala kang proteksyon. Kung pwede, sir, sana mayroon. Kahit ihatid lang kami sa, ba, sa Pangasinan. Uh, may... Sinabi kanina, mga taga-DOJ, hindi ko nalang babanggitin kung sino nagsasabi, na delikado ang buhay mo. Ah, I am not, hindi ko sinasabi na totoo yun o hindi, kasi hindi naman ako Diyos. Hindi mo ba iniisip na pag wala ka na sa kustudiya ng uh, <coughs> Kongreso, eh, pwede may mangyari sa iyo? Nasa isip, naisip ko na pero yun, sir. Kaso gusto ko mo nang makita yung mga anak kong iba. Siguro kung magpa-custody ka na lang sa PNP muna, eh pwede naman dalhin yung mga anak mo doon. Uh, ako, ang yun ang suggestion ko, ang gawin lumamig lang ng konti, mga init na ulo, and then later on, makapasyar ka naman. Of course, hindi ka naman preso eh. Kung gusto mo mamasyar, later on, may kasama ka na... na uh, nandiyan naman si General uh, De La Rosa. 
Sit your, your, up, Io. Sit your. Uh, yes, I don't. I still have uh, the floor. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, anyway. Yes, Mr. Chair. Honorable uh, Batawil is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we heard uh, the Chief PNP giving the assurance, and we also heard the preference of uh, Mr. Ron Dayan and the very good suggestions of uh, our colleague, uh, Congressman Quisologo. You know, Mr. Chief, uh, Mr. Chair, I trust the PNP and whatever measures they will undertake to secure uh, Mr. Dayan, wherever he goes, I believe that he will be secured and he will be safe under the custody of uh, the Chief PNP and his men. That is my uh, uh, belief, Mr. Chair. And uh, uh, for, the, for Congress, I think there should be a proper chain of custody of our uh, research person, uh, Mr. Dayan, so that uh, whatever happens to him later on, we can pinpoint responsibility. That is my uh, uh, input as far as the security of Mr. Dayan is concerned. Uh, so, Mr. Dayan, uh, uh, Ms. Sabi po si uh, Congressman Batawil. Yes, sir. Uh, sabi ko kanina, ako ay uh, malaking tiwala sa PNP, no? Opo. Sa Chief PNP, sa Provincial Director natin sa Pangasinan. Opo. Kung ano man ang desisyon mo ngayon, ay gagawin nilang kanilang makakaya, no? Uh, Salamat, para sir. ikaw ay isecure. Pero kailangan ng iyong kooperasyon, no? Yes, kooperasyon at uh, pangunawa namang whatever security measure na kanilang ididetalye para sa iyo. Opo. At uh, para rin sa proteksyon ng uh, kongreso ito, kinakailangan i-formalize din natin yung chain of custody ng resource person na nasa aming poder ngayon. Yes, so yun po ang aking input dito sa ano. So maliwanag po yun. Opo, sir. Okay, my last, uh, before I uh, turn over the mic, no? mayroon po marami akong text messages na natatanggap. No? Eh, mayroon pa rin mga naniniwala doon sa sex video na kumakalat. No? Eh, gusto nilang malaman kung ito ba ay may katotohanan ito. Kasi pinalabas din po ito eh, nung unang hearing pa lang. At marami sa atin dito nakapanood. Uh, gusto namin malaman from you mismo kung ito ba ay uh, authentic, may katotohanan. Ikaw ba yon o hindi? Wala akong, wala pong katotohanan yun, sir. Kung mayroon mang kumuha, hindi, apo, hindi po yun galing sa cellphone ko. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, balik tayo dito. Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Congressman Hernandez. Regarding the custody, no? Uh, let me just remind uh, the committee that the reason why Dayan is here, because he was arrested. He never surrendered. So therefore, he has a responsibility to attend this hearing, which he refused until he was arrested. So our responsibility ends when he appears. Uh, after this, after this hearing, tapos na yung responsibilidad natin kasi nag na siya eh, by force. No? And we will let the authorities handle Diane after this. Wala na hong responsibilidad niya. Hindi naman siya voluntarily surrendered eh. I mean, at least we still care about his safety, but it is not our responsibility. Uh, Mr. Dayan, papaliwanag ko lang ha. Opo, opo, opo. Bago kami nagtapos ng hearing nung uh, New Believed Prison last October, uh, mirong kondisyon. Magtatapos kami on the condition na pag nahuli ka na, magre-resume kami. Let me explain. Bakit pag nahuli ka na? Kasi nag-issue ang Kongreso ng uh, order directing you na magpaliwanag kung bakit hindi ka pwedeng gawaran ng content dahil sa hindi ka sumipot dito. Ang content ay isang uh, 
uh, instrumento ng Kongreso para mapilit kang mag-appear dito. Okay, okay naintindihan mo yun? Yes, sir. Na, nahuli ka o nag-surrender ka, ang punto is, dahil sa content na na-issue ng speaker, content order na na-issue ng speaker, nandito ka na. Okay? Yes. Now, wala na kaming problema dyan. Ang problema lang namin is, uh, after nagbotohan dito, na i-release ka na, gusto mong umuwi. Yes, sir. Naintindihan mo yun? Apo. Ngayon, ang gagawin namin ay ganito. Kasi hindi namin pwedeng bawiin na yung pinagbutuhan namin na pakakawalan ka na namin eh. Yes, sir. Okay. Ito turn over ka para sa kapakanan mo, para sa kaligtasan mo, ito turn over ka ng kongreso kay Chief PNP de la Rosa. Apo, sir. Okay. Pero, pipirma ka doon na pumapayag ka na ito turn over ka sa PNP. Yes, sir. Okay. Kasi pag hindi, ayaw mo, eh, wala kaming magagawa. Ang uh, pagpipilian lang sana namin ay ito turn over ka namin sa NBI kasi meron kang uh, uh, possibility na mabigyan din ng witness protection program ng NBI or pakakawalan ka namin, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Pero hindi naman kami ganun. Kaya, Salamat po, sir. Ang uh, iniisip namin na dito, ito turn over ka sa Chief PNP with your conformity, with the assistance ng abogado mo. English na yon. Ito turn over ka namin sa Chief PNP na pumayag ka doon naman, pipirma ka na pumapayag ka at ang pagpayag mo yun ay hindi kung ano-ano lang kasi pagpayag mo ay nandyan ang abogado mo na tumutulong sa'yo. Pag-advise sa'yo, huwag kang pumayag o pumayag ka. Yun ang tinatawag namin technical term with assistance of counsel. Yes, sir. Naintindihan mo yun? Opo, sir. Okay. Uh, Your Honor? The next... Next to interpolate the resource person is uh, Honorable Juliet Ferrer. Ang ganda naman ng mga kasama ko dito. Ladies first. Okay. okay. So. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable Ferrer. Um, this inquiry is on the proliferation of um, drug syndicates at the New Belib prison. And in fact, we have been waiting for the testimony of Mr. Dayan because he was named a major player in the believed drug trade. However, now that he is here before us, it seems, based on his affidavit and his um, testimony, that it seems that he has no knowledge of the alleged um, trade, drug trade at the believed. In fact, in paragraph 10 of his um, affidavit, Mr. Chairman, he said that he did not enter the believed prison except for three times. Nevertheless, um, since we would like to hear, uh, I would like to ask some questions from Mr. Diane. May I um, ask permission from the chairman if I can address the resource person directly, Mr. Chairman? Uh, go ahead, Your Honor. Mr. Diane. Hindi po namin actually alam dito kung sino nagsasabi ng totoo dahil madami na po kaming um, tinanong sa mga previous natin na mga uh, um, committee hearing and lumalabas po palagi yung pangalan ninyo. Pero ngayon po, sinasabi ninyo na wala po kayong alam dun sa mga nainiyari. So ang, ang labas niyan yung salita nila laban sa salita ninyo, no? Dahil yes, iba-iba po yung mga testimony ninyo. So, ang atin lang dito, hindi naman kami um, DOJ, hindi naman kami korte na lalabas yung totoo sa isang, sa isang araw lang po. Opo. 
So gusto ko lang po tanungin kung bakit po